always great when authors reverse convention and run with something new. So what happens when you get a witch burning scientist in an alternate dimension where the hero's enemy is herself? You get trial by fire by Josephine Angelini, that's what. And yes, we're a little bit late on this review. Two years late on this review. And yes, the sequel came out in October, so we're late with that one as well. But come on, we can't miss this. So I first encountered Josephine Angelini when I picked up the Starcross series, and at the time I was just looking for like a really trashy read. And in my defense, the back of the Starcross series sounds like your usual, typical teen romance with a little bit of action kind of thrown on the top for a bit of flavor. But I wasn't expecting the action-packed clever story that I got. So when I picked up Trial by Fire, I was expecting a winner, and it was decent. Lily is a sickly little thing. She's allergic to pretty much everything and is barely getting by. Her mother has her good mental days and her bad mental days, and Lily is madly in love with her playboy best friend Tristan. So everything's going along, but then everything changed. When the Fire Nation attacked. No, no, that, that, that's not right. It, it, was, it was something else. Oh yeah, okay, so when Lily from another dimension, who is the tyrannical villain burning scientists, drags our Lily into the post-apocalyptic world where witches rule and demons terrorize the people. Lily hero goes by Lily. Lily villain goes by Lillian. Still with me? No. So, Lily is mistaken for Lillian just for a little while, but she then accidentally runs into Lillian's ex-boyfriend Rowan, who wants Lillian dead. Rowan also has a friend named Tristan, who is the alternate version of her Tristan, and thus begins a very minor love triangle where the clear winner is the guy who wants Lily dead. Rowan eventually is convinced that Lily is not Lillian, but he has a hard time trusting her because of Lillian's screw-ups. You see Lillian kind of ordered his father to be hanged and then never really gave him an explanation, good or not, as to why. So naturally, it takes Rowan a long time long time to trust her. It really didn't take him that long to trust her again, did it? Nope. Okay. What detracts from Lily and Rowan is that they're both fairly perfect. Poor, poor Lily is too thin, and she's secretly gorgeous, and for no real discernible reason she has no friends except for Playboy Tristan, so it's kind of hard to feel sympathetic for her. She doesn't exactly crap rainbows, but she's about halfway there. And then when she gets taken to the terrifying alternate dimension, she finds out that all of her suffering and illness was for a reason. Her illness is because Lily is the most powerful witch in the world, and she doesn't even have to work hard to use her powers, despite it taking everyone, including Lillian, years and years of study. She just kind of twitches her nose. And bam, no problems, everything is solved. Rowan is handsome, and he is the best mechanic, meaning all of the witches want him. And despite his very real betrayal by Lillian, he warms up to Lily pretty quickly. And their romance is full of all of the usual YA cliches, like they're drawn to each other, and they fit so naturally, and blah 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 blah. And of course, Rowan being a mechanic, and the best mechanic, a mechanic being somebody who helps a witch regulate her body chemistry, he knows Lily's body better than she does. And so he's like, oh, I'll just teach you stuff about your body, which kind of bugs me because the stuff he teaches Lily about her body is something that she could have easily figured out on her own. But a few moments of Rowan's mechanicking gets a little risque, if you know what I mean. A little bit of sexual healing, if you know what I mean. Lillian as villain adds a whole lot of interest value to the story. I mean, a character who's both hero and villain? You can talk about foils all you want, but nothing beats having to literally face yourself. And because Lillian and Lily are essentially the same person, it opens up the door to why. Why did she start killing scientists? Why did she hang Rowan's father? And why did she make the, like, 180 from happy normal Lillian to tyrannical evil Lillian? You get invested in finding these out, and it makes her a very sympathetic villain. The best part of the novel, though, is the world building. In the alternate universe, witches came into power after the Salem Witch Trials, where they tried to burn witches to kill them, which secretly gives them more power. In our world, they tried to hang witches, and that's why they all died out. But there is one problem in this alternate world, and that is that they are all under attack. 
Somewhere along the line, the witches created the woven, new creatures made from melding different animals together. The woven went rogue and are now picking off native tribes outside of the protected cities. Add that to the possibility of meeting an alternate version of yourself and you've got one crazy world going on. All in all the faults, while they're faults that ruin novels all the time, don't bring this novel down as much as you'd expect. It's a cool fantasy sci-fi hybrid with an interesting plot that saves it from becoming too trite or romance focused. And while it takes a good half of the novel to get invested, you do eventually get invested. And knowing Josephine Angelini, it'll stay interesting. The characters will probably go through some more character development and they'll probably have to make a couple of tough choices along the way. But for now, Trial by Fire is a solid start to the series. And we'll definitely go into more detail of the series in Firewalker because we are so slow on our reviewing schedule. We actually have that now. So that was a review of Firewalker by Josephine Angelini. And if you liked this review, subscribe or tell us about it in the comments down below. And if you're wondering why we're bouncing books on our heads, check out the spoiler review of this video. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye!